it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today <clears throat> we are on my map, uh, still doing some more spraying. I've just kind of been screwing around on my map uh, for a while, just kind of been getting the feel for what it's going to be like to farm it uh, eventually. And so, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just running with the 4440 Patriot sprayer. I'm just going through and spraying all of the fields um, to put some fertilizer down. Uh, my map doesn't have soil mod yet, so really, you know, I'm not doing any like soil management or anything. I'm just putting down standard fertilizer. Um, so, if you've been wondering why there hasn't been video the past two days. The reason for that is because I was away at uh, the farm, um, the real life farm of this, or the real life version of this farm, um, helping my uncle out. He needed some help doing some mod jobs that, you know, were just kind of like a, you know, you kind of needed two people just to try and get a bunch of stuff done, and uh, so went down there yesterday morning, or er, Tuesday morning and I uh, just got back it is uh, 5 30 right now I got back around mm, 3 30 or so 4 o'clock so I've been home for a couple hours now but uh, <clears throat> yeah so I went down there and started off uh, cleaned up some sticks and tree branches and stuff that were in the yard and uh, then we went over to the elevator in the bins and I got started cleaning out uh, grain bins that had sunflowers in them uh, because my uncle wants to put uh, as, met, as much corn in the bins as he possibly can. He's hoping to get a lot of corn. Uh, and so he wanted those cleaned out. And then there was another bin that had corn in it already. Uh, or, you know, had remnants of corn in it, but uh, I decided just to clean that one too because it was kind of dirty. There was kind of some stock and other garbage in there, and so I just went, went ahead and cleaned that one as well. And then uh, we cleaned out the Quonset uh, at the elevator, winterized his camper, got a bunch of stuff parked in the Quonset. We got his tractor and grain cart, um, his sprayer is in there. Which is actually actually the exact same thing as what I'm running right now. Uh, he has a 4440 Patriot sprayer. Um, he actually had to go pick that up this morning. Uh, he was at the dealership getting fixed. Uh, he had a hole in his radiator. So he had to get it fixed. And so he... Uh, before I, I... He was up before I was this morning. And uh, he came in and woke me up and said he was leaving to go get the sprayer said if I wanted to work on that other bin and work on finishing sweeping the Quonset uh, I could and so I did that and then he came back and we got uh, a bunch of stuff finished and uh, now all that's left is to clean the garage over at the house and you know we cleaned the house and whatnot too and I did get some video currently I'm uploading uh, the pieces to Dropbox and that way I can transfer them to my computer and uh, <clears throat> edit it, edit all the pieces uh, on my computer and then uh, upload it. Uh, that'll probably go up today as well. Uh, you know, this is going up Thursday. Um, so that's why I'm saying today. But uh, yeah, it'll probably go up with this video uh, probably earlier hopefully this stuff finishes uploading soon I just have two clips left and they're the longest ones of course and so then once they finish then I'm gonna get started on editing and then um, then once it is done I will get it uh, uploaded so probably tomorrow uh, but yeah so 
Today we're just working on field one here. Uh, the version of this map that I'm playing on is not the one that you saw the other day uh, where I was doing work on it in the video. Uh, I haven't put that version into my mods folder yet. So I'm running an older version. So the ground textures have been changed and all the power lines aren't there yet. The farms aren't there yet. So... I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna finish all of the area farms before I um, put a new version in my mods folder. So figured I would just do some playing around on my map and uh, do some videos on it. Uh, Clover Creek, I'm restarting the save game. Uh, there was a version of it released in a group that I'm part of where they changed all of the clip distances to um, be a lot lower and uh, they did make a couple changes as well but uh, so we're gonna download that one and we're probably gonna end up using different equipment but uh, after I finish this video I'm gonna start the new save game and do that and then I'll get it all set up and ready to go and then I'll start video on it so I did have a couple of my buddies message me they said you know um, or one of my buddies I guess um, he's like you know I'm not telling you what to do or anything but you know I'd like to see you just buy like a couple of tractors and unhook and hook stuff and, you know, normally I like having a tractor on everything, but I think he's right. Um, that would also probably help with whatever leg issue was happening. Maybe I had some of the mods I was using were conflicting or something stupid. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, just like one or two trucks, two, three, no more than four tractors and then all of the implements and stuff so probably just might do it that way and unhook and hook and whatever but uh, yeah yeah I hope had hoped to get more video but uh, with the cold my phone died pretty quick and so my phone died on me and um, I didn't get to end the video. I was going to film, you know, show off the truck uh, my uncle's Peterbilt and his sprayer tender, sprayer hauling tending trailer and his sprayer and and a lot of people have been whining about this sprayer, how the hood is not accurate. Yes, it is. Uh, this is pretty much almost an exact replica of my uncle's sprayer. Um, there's just a couple things different right here um, there's a couple differences and the back end uh, Joe didn't quite add all of the stuff that's in the back which makes sense because there's a lot of hoses back there that raise and lower and stuff so that would have been a lot of stuff to add but yeah so there's a couple of differences but the hood is accurate and the cab is pretty much accurate as well uh, it's pretty much spot on. So, to all the people, if you are one of those people that are whining about this sprayer that watch my channel, get over it because it's accurate. Joe knows what he's doing. And if you think that he's so terrible, let's see you make a mod that is as good quality as Joe's. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, I've seen quite a few new uh, things out on Polygonish that I so badly want. Uh, so I need to kick it in gear with my mods, get it done. Um, that way I can have room for new projects. <clears throat> Yeah, so I got the Chandler uh, all finished up. I got the 
um, dynamic fill plane made. Now I just got to figure out how to get it to work. And I got to script the trailer yet as well. So. There we go. Start getting this thing unfolded because it takes a little bit of time to unfold. Beacons, that's hazards, that's right. Okay, let's get back to it. See, so yeah, the main reason I'm doing a video on my map is because this is what I was doing right now, and it was the easiest thing to get video of at the moment, so just figured I'd do it. Uh, and I know. A lot of people have enjoyed the uh, other video, the time lapse video that I did of spraying. So figured I would just uh, do another one. And uh, a lot of people commented on that, saying, "You know, how come my sprayer legs my game and stuff?" I don't know. Probably because your computer is not able to run it. You probably have too low of low end of a PC to run this sprayer. Um, it even said in the download description that you needed a higher PC. I'm pretty sure it said it anyways. But, uh, I know I saw somewhere it said that you do need a higher PC to run this. And it was very true. Uh, because these are detailed spray particles. There's quite a few of them. And so, yeah. If it doesn't work for you, sorry, I can't help you. And I have had a lot of people messaging me, asking me all sorts of just kind of dumb questions that they should be asking giants and not me, because it's like, how come whenever I start a save game, it crashes, or this or that, and it's like, I'm not giants, I can't help you, I don't know the ins and outs of this game engine so you have to ask somebody else but me so sure how much time we have left okay 16 minutes so we'll just end that and what we'll do is we'll just finish off this field and get the sprayer loaded up and truck it over to the next field and then that'll be the video and then I'll get that okay come on then I'll get this video editing and we'll or get this video edited and then while it's exporting I will work on setting up Clover Creek
So yeah, yeah. Ugh. So yeah, as you can see, uh, at the moment, I can run anywhere from about 70 to like 110, 120 FPS on my map. And hopefully it'll stay that way. Uh, I know it's uh, in town, it's still pretty high even. So that's nice. I'm glad that my map is uh, running so well on my computer. Which if it didn't, I would totally be mad. I do have a couple of errors I need to fix. There's a couple of uh, texture errors on here uh, that I need to fix. Uh, mainly at the Ford dealership, which I'm going to get rid of all the trucks that are currently at the Ford dealership. And I think it was on the county line map. Um, there was a Ford dealership and they had some um, different Ford trucks that were a little bit nicer. And I think I'm going to use those instead. Here we are pretty close to being finished. And then uh, once we're done with this field, we'll top off the sprayer. And then get it loaded on the trailer. And then we'll take the uh, T680 into town and get the trailer filled up and then we'll uh, drive that to the next field which is going to be field uh, 15 and 7 so we'll just kind of pull it over in that area and then take the sprayer over there as well I don't, I don't think, well maybe it is, I'm not sure if my uncle's sprayer is 120 foot booms or not, it probably does, I don't know much about case sprayers or sprayers in general, so, so if I'm wrong, I don't know if case sprayers, if the 4440s have different spray widths or not, or boom widths, whatever. So if they do, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but like I said, I don't know much about sprayers. We got one more pass after this one. I wanted to check. Is field one the biggest? Oh, that's not even going to say. Dang it. I think what I might do is on the PDA image add in the size of every field. I think that's what I might do. Just like something small like you know Maybe like down in a corner or something like that. Just in a, just enough that you can see it, but not too big that it's in the way or anything. Seems like I'm just always constantly moving these booms. So it's kind of hard to go in cab with the sprayer because you know, if I want to 
keep it realistic with the booms, I kind of got to stay in third person for the most part, but I guess kind of can adjust, you know, see to adjust them in here as well. Alright, so hopefully we have enough uh, fertilizer to finish this field off. And I need to set my joystick up for this, so that way I don't have to keep using the mouse buttons, I can just use my joystick. Uh, actually, I could set it up for my actual joystick. I was meaning the joystick on my... Um, SciTech panel, but my joystick's not programmed for anything, so, or, er, well, the moving section of it isn't anyways. Alright, there we go. Let's head over here and we'll uh, top off the sprayer and then we'll go ahead and go uh, fill up our trailer. Oops, wrong button.
Wrong button again. Didn't want to uh, hit spacebar. I completely forgot there was a stop sign here. Jake in this truck definitely does not take very long to uh, slow this truck down, which is pretty nice. this up here under the liquid tank and uh, get it filled up and the only bad thing about the uh, area that the CPS is at is or the location of CPS here is it's um, how it's kind of a uh, hard to get out you have to just back up which I guess I could take out right there but the only bad thing is if you have new equipment sitting right here then you have that in the way so As its uh, advantage and disadvantage, I guess. Right, so let's get uh, backed out of here.
Alright, to field seven we go. I need to do something about that bump there. I need to make that not such a big one because it's uh, causing lots of damage. At least when we haul the sprayer, it won't be a long haul. Like it uh, won't take long like it did with uh, this. One of the two left, two video clips left is almost done. So that's good. Alright, so we just gotta get to the end of this road and we'll be set. So yeah, this road I have also fixed um, on the newer version of the map. Yeah, I'm really not doing my fields in any kind of order. I'm just kind of jumping around. Just because it's, it's fun hauling stuff and I like driving, driving around a lot, so... Figured I would just kind of jump around what I'm doing and <clears throat> end up uh, spraying different fields, hauling the sprayer, and driving the truck all over Tarnation. Alright, so we'll pull this guy up right there, shut him down. We'll take this guy and load him up on the trailer. Oops. Still got my door open and my ladder up. Boy, that's really quiet. Really, really quiet compared to uh, normal. Yeah, the only bad thing about using this trailer for the sprayer is the sprayer kind of hangs off. It's like very, very far on the edge. And I can't put the wheels in, otherwise they hit this middle collision. And that's not fun either, so... Okay, so we're going to lock that down, fold up our ramps. Yeah, in the end of my video my time-lapse video my ramps were being really really weird I don't get I don't know what their deal was Oops, I don't want to, better not turn that on yet see I do need to go and fix my field entrances if I haven't already I just realized that and all my field entrances are too big as well Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of Cat CT660 trucks around here now. Uh, and, you know, dump trucks, semis, all sorts of stuff. Like, before, for the longest time, you never saw a cat truck. You'd see cat machines, but never a cat truck. And now it just seems like lately they're everywhere. Which, I mean, is okay, but it's just kind of funny.
forgot to turn my blinker on. Alright, I got one more part uh, uploaded. I don't know why I was trying to catch it while it was moving yet. It was kind of a dumb idea. Shoot. I need to turn off my map. I know where I'm going on here. No point in having it. All right, so we're gonna get to the field and then that will be the end of the video So I will start the outro now If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel Welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see Make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video Check out down below in the description for my PC specs uh, my video schedule my links to my social medias links to my mod site, and links to other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.